Hi, this is Master Chambai. Welcome to this new replay commentary. I hope guys and girls will enjoy. Today we have Olaf vs Max. This game was played back in January, so my playstyle did improve a lot. I changed a lot as well. So with that being said, I hope everyone will enjoy. Maybe I'm a bit too loud. Yeah, I, I think I'm actually a bit too loud. But, but yeah. Now, let's read the chart. And then we will cover both profile. Because guess what? This was Global League. And just like any Global League games, we go take a look at the profile to see the MMR. And as I said, that's back in January, so I wasn't the MMR I am right now. And I suppose my opponent as well had a different uh, MMR. Which is kind of sad that I cannot rewind time and see. But hey, it's life, right? So with that being said, Max! The first CEO in the game, and guess what? He picked it. I ate Max, and I will explain why shortly in a clip. I say that because a part of this video will be uploaded on my other channel. With that being said, direct unit gain plus 20% attack, and direct unit lose 10% attack, and I have minus one range. So this means, except if you're playing 4D chess, you don't want and direct. You just don't. That's why Max is trash. Uh, power for 3 stars. Max force direct unit gain plus 1 movement and their attack increases to plus 30. Now I don't know the shenanigans. Uh, I'm guessing this is including the 10% increase. Maybe, maybe not. To be honest, I don't really care. Because I don't play Max. Uh, Max Blast. For 6 stars. Direct unit gain plus 2 movement and their attack increases to 50. Uh, yeah, so it's basically a bit weaker than a maker from Grim, but the extra space makes it better. That's funny. Now, with that out of the way, let's read my boy Olaf the Snowman Christmas Santa. Unaffected by snow, but rain affect him the same as snow would for other. Blizzard for three stars. Change the weather to snow for one day. Winter furry. Enemy unit lose to HP to a minimum of 0.1. And the weather changed to snow for one day. Now in this specific matchup, if you see Max can get a good power max force and you get the chance to use your power before is even if it's at the end of your turn do it because that will slow him down either his max force will be weak here or you will need to wait another turn and if you wait another turn that will help you to build your own meter again because if you wait the full turn and then he attacks you because he used your power the previous turn, well, right now it's empty. Your bar is empty and it's just waiting to get filled. So this is just a, a smart tip, I guess. As I said, that's, that's only a blizzard when you see a super or a power incoming and it's before it. Because if you use your blizzard after max force or max blast it's actually really really bad don't do that don't but if it's before it's good i open it now we do not see his uh username now we do step six sierra romeo lima Official rating 1015.3 Win 77 Lost 59 Draw 2 I kind of like his top 5 now. I don't know if that was like that like back then in January, but right now it's kind of cool. Sasha, my waifu, 
Sunjad, the CO I don't want to play. Volbolt, it's not Javier, it's not Aug. Wow. That player has earned my respect. Fort, Jake. Okay, that's kind of boring. Everyone play Jake. Fifth place, Andy. This is a very popular CO with higher rated players because Andy is good. He's good. He has no day today, so he is boring, but he's still very good for a tier 3 CO. And this is funny because in some maps, I do think he is tier 2 material. I will give a good example Frost Leaf. It's in the current rotation as we are recording, it's September. So in Frost Leaf, Andy is actually broken. I don't pick him in Frost Leaf because. I will end up in something I don't like, a mirror match. Combine bases is one of my alternate accounts. Official rating 937.79 with 298 wins, 305 defeat, 52 draw. Now, my top 5 is Olaf Sami. Eagle, Sturm, and Andy. Now, 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 now. Let's go to the replay and the clip I will put in on multi topic talk before this video gets out. This will be a clip. So, Max, the really bad CEO I don't like and I barely use. When I use him, it's for content's sake. Now, with that being said, in this map, Max is actually really, really strong. And here's the why it's really small. And Max Force and Max Blast are really, really strong. Yes, there are good places for indirect. But the time you place them, the enemy has already recon and air unit out, so they will see them hiding in forest or getting behind infantry walls. So this is why oh uh, well I will say Max I should say is really good because this map is small. In smaller map, Max rules. He is basically what if Grim was playable, but. I will say this, even if his day that he appears to be better than Grim, the sole fact that he cannot use Ender Egg makes him really atrocious. And the best way to counter him, Max, well, stall the game. Pick Olaf, maybe Eagle, it depends. Eagle, if you're able to hold your own and like to slow down the pace of the game you will always beat max because you will outnumber him with your lightning strike which is a much better super than max blast the longer the game will be the worst max becomes and this is also why i dislike so much max if you take up fast against max well max cry because the only option he got left is medium tanks Maybe Balcopters, but yeah, if you take off fo first, you will slap Max in the face. Now, let's move on to the replay commentary. As usual, I will be fast on the first few turns. I do enjoy this map a lot. Uh, it's not my favorite, but it's not the worst. It's a fun map nonetheless. Uh, the Recon opening, yeah, a few weeks ago on my other channel, I teased that opening video. I will be working on it after recording the next two replays, this one and the next one. I will record that fabulous uh, opening video. So jumping on Multi Topic Talk channel, that opening video may be out as this video right now is out. 
uh, link in the description below. Yeah, I really want to plug both channel because both channel cover advanced wars. Anyway, um, move on with this. Okay, tank, infantry, infantry. So far, so good. I still don't like that recon opening. Now, many players do that opening in this map because they want to deny the other player tower. I will say this by experience after playing so many games, you cannot stop your opening to get his tower. At some point, he will get his tower. You will just lose many units in the process. So be smart. Do not troll all you got just to tell him, yeah, you don't get your tower because he will get his tower or her tower at some point. And then all these units you sacrificed will be sacrificed in vain. So uh, let's see how it goes. Okay. Uh, I cap these two, both in range of that uh, juicy recon. One, two, three, and uh, even the infantry can go there. This is funny because these two tanks are overlapping each other. But guess what? This one does one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one can attack this style, this style, and this one one, two, three, four, five, six. This one can attack there. So the only spot my opponent can go with the Raycon while I'm getting it. Well, actually there are two spots. These two spots, they are safe. Uh, so that's like the smartest move if you attack from these two tile. But if you do, you will get chip damage. And now I will make sure to place my tank in range. But white out being seen by that Raycon. So if the Raycon sticks around, well, Raycon will just vanish into oblivion so let's see how it goes chip damage now because it's the uh, max recon that's why I'm at 4 instead of 5 capture building double recon okay this is a small map if you thought you would lose that Raycon for the tower, that was a bad move. And if you think 3 Raycon are needed for this map, you are wrong. This map is really small, I do think 2 Raycon is more than enough. Worst case scenario, save some money. Don't base skip, save some money. So with extra 3k, you can actually get like Battlecopter, 3 Infantry or tank, artillery, infantry, but because you're max, forget about that option. And this is why I do not play max, and this is why max is so bad. Yeah, max max is just that bad CEO. He's tier 2 because he's overrated. He's tier 2 because he has a somewhat better power than Jess, I guess. And he's also a bit better than Jess in terms of capture game. But I will say this, I'd rather play Jess than Max because Jess, she can use indirect. So, let's see what happened next. As I said, out of vision. Now, I could have like gotten in these two tile. But here's to why didn't, I was like, what if he chose to go here? Or what if he chose to go there? One, two, three, four, five. Well, actually, that wasn't the thought process, actually. I think I didn't go too far because I was scared of max tanks. And you need to be scared of max tanks because they are better than yours. So I think that's the best explanation I got for why I was not a bit closer. Now, my two tanks are still in range of that Raycon. So if my opponent choose to just leave that Raycon there, he lost the Raycon. Chip damage is a thing. And 
tanks are not happy about Recon shooting down infantry, right? So let's see what happened next. Capture, capture. Yeah, huge mistake. You just lost your Recon. Actually, that was better played. That tank is heavily damaged. And now, the fabulous build of tank, artillery, infantry, because I can have Anderex. That tank is disabled. The best way he has now is go I dare. You see, instead of having three Recon, if he only had two, he could get another tank out, probably, because he would have gotten that extra 3k. So now let's see how it goes. Okay, standing there, huge mistake. Now you're at 1 HP, pretty much anything I have will kill you. Like, I think I will even try to just use that infantry and kill that tank. So now you just threw away a tank. Now I know you will overlap it with the other one, but what if I have other tanks ready? What if I have a battle copter ready? Where is your anti-air right now? Where is your anti-air, Max? Now I understand your Max, so you just want to take to tank spam. But I'm not Max. I will like battle copters. I will like Enderex. So Leaving these units behind, bad play, really bad play. So I'm guessing that guy wasn't 1000 back in the day. Maybe it was like more likely 900 because right now so far I'm not really impressed by what's, by what's going on. I've seen many player playing this way and 80 to 90% of them lose in this map against me. Just saying. We'll see if this guy is better and can actually beat me despite using strat I've already seen many times. So, first strike, second strike, kill, capture. Now I overlap my tank with another tank. Now, the sole fact that I killed the first tank against a max player give me a really good lead. Uh, you'll tell me that it's only one tank, you will also lose another tank. Yes, that's true. But I have two other tanks overlapping the 6 HP. And if it decides to attack my 9, it will be even worse because my counter attack will be strong. Um, so even if, if like he can retaliate and even if he can attack me back, I will just eat him alive. And now I got two options. Either I go Battle Copter, Recon, Double Infantry, which is kind of good with 15k, or I go Double Tank Infantry. If I go Double Tank Infantry, this means I will have the tank lead because I killed the first tank out. And I may kill another one because if he attacks me, I will kill another one. So usually players don't play strong on their weaker side, but I do. This is my play style. And I also do that in this map because my tower is on my weak side. And I know a lot of greedy players are like, Oh, I will deny that tower. Everything will go well until they lose like Recon, Tank, Infantry. Everything they try to push to stop me from getting my tower. And at the end, maybe like I had like four turn wide out the tower. But who cares if you lose everything? I will get it at some point, my tower. And your unit you lost, the unit you lost, you will not get them back. So tank. Now, let's see how it goes. Okay, that was a 700 play. I cannot finish out that infantry. I felt like I wanted revenge because... <laughs> Look, he denies me the tower. Now he tried to deny me a building. I was salty right now, and that was a really bad move. Uh, let's see how it goes. 
double tank infantry. Now it's 19 to 20. Similar volume. He has a small lead in terms of economy, but that's normal because he plays very aggressive with his recons. And he is also a uh, player too, so you get that intra uh, that extra infantry. So let's see how it goes. Okay, he did the right thing, running away there. That's actually good, but he didn't realize I had that other thing there. But even if I die from here like that, why not my tower? I will really sustain lots of damage. And I guess this will lead to my downfall because another tank is overlapping this one. So let's see how it go how it goes. And tier. I think that's a good timing for it. Tank and infantry. So uh, let's see how I react. Okay, he tried to interrupt this, but this is a bit of extension. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you see that recon will probably end up dying. So this wasn't great. Like you really want to delay my economy, and I can understand where you are coming from. But that's not great if you lose too many units in the process. You already lost a recon and a tank in this area. And now you're one full tank behind me. So even if you got better economy than me, right now I have a better positioning than you. And this is really bad. You don't want that. Now I join because 700 plays rule, right? Um, I try to capture this. I go ill. Try to kill that. I succeed in killing that. Now you see, I will get my tower. Yes, it's like four days later, but did your recon came back to life? No. Did your other tank came back to life? No. You build new one, but that's new ones, and you lost money in the process. And look, I killed another of your recon because you're too greedy and you want too much to stall. And I understand because the longer it gets, the worse it will become for you because I'm all laugh. But losing too many units too early in the game, it's not really good. Now, you, based on both of our profile, you are more skilled than me. But I am more experienced because I point out to many things you did wrong. So, yes, you're a better player than me, but you're not as experienced as me. And maybe, just maybe, this will lead to a future uh, downfall and a future loss. Now, I did not see the full replay, and I can't remember this game. This took place like 8 months ago. <laughs> How can I remember? I mean, so far, it doesn't look good. So far, I think I have a small lead, despite being behind in terms of money. I got the firepower I need right now, and he doesn't. So, let's see how it goes. I retreat to ill, because healing is smart. Now I got two things overlapping this 6 HP, so even if he sees it, if he tries something, I will have many tanks just hopping around and I will get my tower, so next turn I will have the firepower I should have for a few turns now. NTR tank infantry, very similar to my open end, a bit later, but hey, that's because he delayed me, I guess. So, I guess I will put this volume a bit higher. Let's see how it goes. Seize my tank, you will probably be able to kill it. Yeah. Let's see if this is what he does. Capture build building. Medium tank, okay, I will say that. Max doesn't want to take up first. I still understand why he did it. He may be scared I take up. That could be a somewhat good reason, but if you follow my money and the way he did delay most of my caps, you should not expect 
anytime soon a take up unit. So if I base skip, but I don't base skip, and not everyone base skips. Most likely a lot of player don't base skip, and they are right to not base skip because base skip hurts you. The other day I had that stream with Advanced Warrior, he lost because base skip. Sometimes base skip will work, but others it will not. And you will feel it. You will feel it. When you will have base skipped and you will have lost that game, if you lose a game you base skipped, you will feel like you did something wrong. Or you will be like, but that's my fault. Or if you're not, well, there's something wrong, you know? I'm just saying. So let's see how it goes. Kill my infantry. Now this is a good infantry wall. I guess this is why he is that I rated because usually 800 and 700 they don't really do infantry walls. So despite a few issues here and there, I do understand your strength. That infantry wall man, respect. Uh, so medium tank, recon, infantry. Well, that's kind of good. Okay, vision, kill. Damage, kill, damage, kill, tank, tank and infantry. So now I'm about to catch up to him, so yes there was that delay there, but I'm about to catch up. I'm just 1k behind now, this is the magic number we all like, especially as max. Now instead of that medium tank, if he bought like 3 tanks, Man, it would all tank me right now because on this next turn he could build other three tank and it will just overwhelm me because it's max tanks and you outnumber my tanks. Now let's take a look. More income, magic number. Uh, I guess less value because I still killed a full recon. Well, I actually killed two recon and a tank. So this brings 15k, so this is the 15k missing there. Attacks, kill, attacks, kill. Okay, Recon tank, infantry, that's not, okay, battle capture, I see. Okay, your max have more tanks. I do like copters a lot. Battle copters are really good, but max just like to spam tanks. Cause here's the thing: it's really hard to one-shot tanks. The only way is a take up unit, bomber, medium tank, near tank. These are the only three unit that one-shot the tank. So it's really hard to hurt unit count when you see tanks. Battlecopter, the anti-air one-shot them. As max, unit count, it doesn't matter that much as long as you have the firepower. So, three tanks is the firepower you need. Now, I could understand if he is like, I lost lots of unit, that's for unit count. If he bought that battlecopter for unit count, well, I can understand at some extent why I didn't bought three tanks but i will say this you got 21k you know i don't just spam tanks because this is the max way i mean max is a brain dead co don't make it too complicated just spam tanks so uh let's move on Now I move around my unit, now that that's a 700 play, keeping that end here on the front line like that, don't do that. Now this took place after my Deja's game, but I was so bad at following his advice. <coughs> so now I realize he has a medium tank, and I'm like, oh no, I need my own. And this is funny, this is funny, I will tell why. Well, when you're the MMR you are, when you are what I used to be, 
you don't realize there are other ways to compete with medium tank, like I don't know, and direct wall or battle copters. That's the option I should have gotten uh, instead of medium tank. You don't respond to take up with take up, except if you're a CEO like Sasha that has more money or that should have more money. This is the only time where you can really outtake your opponent by just responding with take up. I will never outtake a max as Olaf if I just catch up to him in the numbers of medium tank I got. His medium tanks are better than mine. So my best weapon against his medium tank is artillery battle copters. They go brrrr, they kill medium tank. They, they feast on medium tanks. This is the best way, but hey, back in January, I thought medium tank need medium tank to compete with medium tank. That's not really good. That's the seven, eight hundred ish thinking. That's not how it works. Anyway, let's keep going. So now I attack this. Place my artillery there. I kill that recon. I am very glad because now he will need another recon. But hey, he has to recon. So I guess that was kind of bad. Uh, and here in place, hiding in forest, I guess now this time I realize, oh, I was done with that end here, so we'll keep that end here alive. Hell yeah, this is how we do. Now, you see, right now, he lost more value than me because he has his power on. So this is the case where you want to fill your entire meter because you don't have your power yet. And don't force your power in, don't sacrifice stuff for Blizzard. You can do it for Renter Free if you know you will have the lead after doing so. But don't do it for Blizzard. Blizzard is not worth the volume. Now let's see how Max react. Power. So this is the classic Max turn. This is a really good power. And I think this power will already seal the game. And this is why Max is this good in this very small map. You can take a huge lead really fast against other tier 2. If he plays well, he can kill my entire front line. My 3 tanks can be oop oop, goodbye, good night. If I lose 3 tanks this early in the game, it's really hard to come back. I will just suffer my way through this game if I already lose 3 tanks. And this is why Max is so good in this map. This map is just too small to let you have some mistake here. Oof. Oof. Oh. Okay. So right now I am already on a losing state. But I got my winter furry, I guess. I will drain his money. This? Oh, really? Third tank, bro. Third tank. So, this was a really strong turn. Take a look. Unit count wise, I only have three unit down, but look at the volume. Tank disable, tank disable, tank disable, tank dead. So, right now, he is winning. Now, I don't think I resigned because I'm like, oh, power, look, my super. I don't think the value has updated. We will see at the start of his turn, I guess. Okay, that's a really bad play. I should have used my infantry instead. Now, that tank will die because why not? Now, that tank is overextending, so that was really not great, that move. Yes, my anti-air is out, but your tank as well, so I lost more volume for sure, but it's not that great. Okay, uh, this is the 700 me playing right now. Now I'll explain why by the end of this turn. Look. Medium tank are not that great. 
They are good, don't get me wrong. Don't put word in my mouth. Mouth, mouth, mouth. Don't do that. Medium tank are really, really strong, but they are not great. Because medium tank can only carry one field and they are blind. So in most army, I recommend people to have one medium tank and maybe a near tank. Or maybe two medium tank, but this is only on longer game. By day 13, you don't want two medium tank already. It's too many because you will be blinded. You won't see what to hit. You will like see an infantry, you'll be like, that's the only thing I see. I will use my 16k to kill 1k. It's just kind of bad. So this is why this move right now is really bad. Instead of that, I had the money. I should have bought Balcopter, Tank, Double Infantry. I'm against Max. Max, sometimes they will Copter spam, but usually Max player, they Tank spam. Except that one. That one realized, Rico, Rico. Um, yeah. Balcopter, Tank, Double Infantry. This is also for unit count, because his max force really, really damaged me a lot. And now, right now, the tides are kind of even in terms of value, but he clearly has the advantage. Now, take a look. We are similar. I have 5 extra units he doesn't have, but I only got like 9k more. And now, this is the start of his turn. If he has visual over that medium thing, that medium thing will be disabled, bruh. That medium thing will just cry. And I will lose. I should have made my medium tank on that front instead of that front to overlap. I guess I made it there because I wanted to wipe out these tanks and I didn't want to like meet his own medium tank because his medium tank is better but that's bad like if I overlap myself that will be better. Okay that's very smart look. Attacking that medium tank on the plane is a risk. People may take it and it could end up well, like in this case, if he did. But sometimes when you take risk, this is where you overextend and lose a lot of unit. So I understand why he didn't attack. And I would say it's good. Uh, that player is not going too far because he realized maybe at that point I wasn't that bad. And he was like, oh, I lost so many unit because I did stupid stuff. I guess that's what he was thinking by that time. Oh my. Oof. This hurt my ego a lot. That was a bad turn. Now I go on my HQ because defense star. Even if he's max, he will never do that because I mean, four defense star <laughs> will bother attacking this. And bow. Another anti air because I wasn't cautious enough for that anti air. Now I will say this. Instead of that tank, infantry and battle copter here. Why unit count and medium tank? Now, right now, it's stabilized, I think. I'm ahead of him. Not that much, but a bit. Now, I will lose a lot of stuff if he does a good turn because I overextended. I don't really have the unit to support these two cap, and I still went for it because I felt like I was behind. And that's a fact, I was behind. Now he is using his power. Oof. That was a good power. But now look at that. One, two, three, four, five. I will cut your vision, bruh. I think right now, so far, the biggest sin I see is the number of freaking Rayconi builds. Like, I mean, three Raycon all the time. It's too many, and my biggest sin is not having enough recon because look, I have none. So now you start, you start to see why vision is that important. 
and why medium tank that early having too many of them can hurt you because right now I'm blind and now in one turn he flipped the table because I don't see what's going on I don't see what comes next so kill this I guess Bomber to deal with that medium tank now I think that's fine but a better option would be having lots of different units but I understand why I did that I was like yeah Bomber so let's take a look I have a small lead but that's the start of his turn and he can really turn things around right now So that's what's going on, I captured two buildings while all having proper backup, so I just wasted infantries. Now this was fine I guess because of that copter, but I got another end here, I mean that's not great. Okay that other end here was damaged, I understand now. Uh, that medium thing is gone and now I think it will start pumping out like battle copter like there's no tomorrow. And I agree with that unit count, and he is already winning anyway. Oh, what did I do? Oh my, my eyes are bleeding. <laughs> this is an awful turn, bro. So I send that bumper white on knowing he has that other Raycon, because I killed so many Raycon, I'm like, there's no way he has another Raycon, but hey! Hi there, other recon. Oh my, brah, these recon. <laughs> oh, and I have none. <laughs> I still have none. Okay, uh, I'm banned. So at that point, I lost the game. Even if Winter Freeze coming, I lost the game. Uh, I guess I came back. But there's no way I win this, I don't think so. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That bomber will go poof, I think. Oh, maybe not, because of... Okay. This is actually relevant to speak about this turn. Max Blast after Winter Fury? No, bro. Don't. Just don't. It's really bad. First of all, limited movement, second, damage, global damage is bad. Max likes it when he, he go bang, 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 you know? He cannot go bang, bang, bang if most of his army is damaged. Now, he heal parts of it, but the biggest ones on the front line, they are damaged. Now, I see that NTR, I just have seen the NTR on the building. Near my bomber, I cannot understand, but nah, 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 brah. Right now, he has no answer to my near tank and my medium tank right now. So even if I'm, if my bomber is out, he has nothing on the field to compete with me. So that max blast is not that great. All it does is kill that bomber. That's the only thing. And kill one bomber at that stage in the game, you want something that has more effect. Battlecopter, tank, infantry. Now, that's actually the right build because I'll, I outtake my opponent. Damage, capture, at last I can get some of that juicy money. So at that point, he has a small lead, but he has nothing to deal with that. He has, well, that capture, but it's a bit far, so it will take a while. Right now, it's really hard to tell who is winning right now, but yeah. You see, this is why Max is so bad. He cannot have artillery to deal with. 
take up unit like my Nia tank. He just doesn't have these units. At that point I should have gotten a Raycon, like I don't understand the lack of Raycon on my side. That's overextension, you're not under your power, you will lose that thing. Damage, kill, damage, kill, damage, kill, kill, medium tank, battle capture and double infantry, I guess that's fine. I'd rather have more tanks, but hey, value is value, right? And I'm against max, so actually it's, I think it's better than I first thought. Kill my infantry, kill my capture. APC, battle copter, infantry, recon. Now, I think at that point in the game, it's too late for the APC. As much as I like APC, if you make APC, usually it's to transport unit to boost captures. Or you want to refuel air units, but I don't think you need to refuel that much right now because your unit are healthy, they have ammo, they have fuel, so you don't really need that aspect of APCs. So uh, that APC, I, I don't think it was a good idea. Kill. Kill. Okay. This is bad because now I I let any threat attack from me building my Nia tank. That was a losing move right now. That was like a 700 play right now. Here again, but at least now I kill something, so this is a bit better, I guess. Still not great. I'd recommend to not do that. Now, I'm still behind. It's, it's kinda bad. I just gave my Nia tank, which is wrong. Don't do that. Oh my. Oh. This hurts so much, bruh. Yeah, near tank. Uh, I think that that damage there cost me the game. Don't think I can come back. 40k. That's bad. I think I resigned here. Yeah, I resigned. So, yeah, biggest takeaway, don't attack stuff if you cannot kill them, because that gives a window for the opponent to counterattack the way you just did. Other takeaway, don't have too many take-up units, even if take-up units are strong, don't have too many of them. You need vision, you need numbers, you need to be able to attack several uh, places at once. And a medium tank cannot do that. Anyway, that was Master Kambai. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. I wish you all a great day. Take care.